The eight were flown from Ethiopia to Voi and have since been escorted to their respective homes. And despite repeated government statements over the suspects' Al-Qaeda connections, the suspects themselves maintain they have no relationship whatsoever with the infamous terrorism outfit. Tumekutana na wanawake wengine na wakasema wanawake ni wanawake wa magaidi. Sasa kani changanya mimi pia na wao, wakasema mimi ndo na saidia wa magaidi. Mba inafuata mkiwa wangu nikuwa nime muawa katika Somali camp, refugee camp utange. Na nimezaa nae mtoto wa ito Ayubu, nikuwa nime mfuata kumchukua mtoto nije ni msomesha December. Kuja kumsomesha January, kuanzia January, anze masoa muapu. Mvua, baridi, kudore na ruana, hakuna ni kama slave tumekua. According to the government spokesman, Swale Ali Tunza personally confessed to have gone to Somalia to train as a terrorist to fight on the side of the Islamic Courts Union. Saeed Hamis Mohammed is said to have been arrested as he tried to re-enter Kenya at Kiunga from southern Somalia while in the company of some of the other suspects. Kasim Musa Marusi is suspected to have joined a terrorist organization allied to Al-Qaeda in 2006. His brother, 30-year-old Ali Musa Marusi, says he went to Somalia to assist his brother to build a house. Eight of them from Kenya do not have any uh, wrongdoing on the issue of terrorism. Why did our country take so long to bring them back? Abdallah Halfan Tondwe, along with 50-year-old Bashir Mohamed Sader, and all the other suspects initially denied being Kenyans, for fear of prosecution and claimed to be Somali nationals on which basis they were repatriated to Somalia. Ellen Onjiro, Citizen TV.